Your flowers like the little bit of rain we got last night. They look like it. They do, they look pretty. Good morning, modern steaders. It's quiet with chickens. I had to lock New York City chickens back up into their city limits. They were getting into Gina's flower garden and they were laying eggs all over the homestead. So look at this. They're over there waiting for us again. Now we keep Nora in here at night. Pretty soon we're gonna lock her up with Buttercup's babies, and then all the babies will spend the night together. You coming out? Come on. I have to either shut the door with you in it or out. Come on. Come on, Nora. Nope, I'll go come get you then. You want to go on this side? There you go. I've never understood how people from down south can be cold when it's 50 degrees out. Now I get it. I got a winter hat on and it's 50 degrees out. <laughs> Going from the 90s to 30s and 50s real fast. Now I understand why they get cold like that. Oh, that summer heat felt nice, but this quick cool off, I'm not used to it now. My blood's gonna thicken back up. Go for it. Go to the feeder. You fit right on with the big girls now. This buttercup, you guys gonna stay in. Now you babies can come out. Now you can come out and play. Mom had to go out on pasture for a little while and get. You chicks only get to stay in this brooder area for a couple more days now because, whoops, we have a new batch of meat birds coming soon. Here. Rusty and ladies, you ready to come out? I'm glad to see the chickens all getting along well because they're all going to be in the same chicken coop with no divider at night before you know it because we're getting our meat birds soon. All the other ones are still inside eating. I like to make sure the little ones can get enough feed without the big ones eating it all on them as they knock it over. Go see your baby. Huh? Pretty soon we'll be milking buttercup too. We just wanted to wait till the cold night. Is tonight going to cold? No, tonight's not supposed to be cold. I was going to do it tonight. Yeah. Come. You want your mom, Nora? She's Don't coming. Come out, you. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, no, ho! <laughs> no. We think Blossom's in heat too, but we're not going to bring her over to see the boys until the fall. We don't want to have two goats having babies too close to winter. We only want to have one, so she's gonna have to wait till fall time like the rest of the girls. Good morning, girls. You hungry? Sounds like you are. For some reason you like to. 
There you go. Let's have you work this area today. You're doing a good job. It's looking real nice. Oh, it smells so good in here. Man, them beets. That was the first thing I saw was the red on the beets sticking up. They look so good. Gina's blueberry plants are supposed to show up today. While we wait for them, we're going to plant some carrots, rutabagas, and beets if we have time before they show up. We're going to be adding some organic amendments to the soils. So let's bring those in right now. Well, hopefully your blueberry plants show up any minute. Oh my god, how can I help you? But I don't know where you can. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Oh, I did it. But just in case they don't, let's start planting some carrots, rutabagas, and some more beets. Yes. And then we'll have two beds left over. No, we'll have we'll have three beds left over. Olivia's gonna take one of the garden beds for her own bed. And then we'll save the other two to start planting some lettuce and stuff. In about three weeks, we'll plant in those beds. Yeah. So it's like the end of June, so we'll have that ready for fall harvest. I have a hard time to focus because it seems like all this stuff has got a lot taller, don't you think? It has. It's looking good. I'm trying to look I made the beds the other day and I put a little bit of compost on top. I want to rake that in. And then I'm going to add some rock phosphate and some green sand. Carrots, like any other. Root vegetables do really good with phosphate. They do not like a lot of nitrogen. If you give them a lot of nitrogen, the greens will grow well, but the root part won't do as well. So this is green sand. And the other nice thing is we have really nice sandy soil here. So you want soil that's loose and not gonna compact to get some good carrots. We got green sand. And then we have some rock phosphate. Give this a little rake in too to get it in the soil. We're gonna do some more succession planting later on with carrots so we can have carrots in the greenhouse all winter long. So the goal is when we need carrots this winter, they're gonna be stored in the garden beds out here. So we can just come out here, grab some, bring them in the kitchen, and start cooking with them. Oh, that gives me the chills just thinking about it. I thought I was going to do that last year. No, but I thought I was going to do that. And then I'm like, oh, shoot, they're in the snowbank. Right. I'm going to make a small little indent for our row spacing here. Make sure they're nice and straight. I'm trying. How do they look? Um, they're okay. Needs to look pretty. I hope it looks pretty when we're done. So to start off, we're gonna plant some St. Valerie from Baker Creek, and then we're gonna plant some Bolero carrot from Haas Garden Supplies. These things are tiny. Look how small these are. A lot of people buy a garden seeder just to plant their carrots because they're so tiny. They actually look like a celery seed. That's tiny. And if we overplant too much, that just means more thinning that we'll have to do. I want to have all the fun I want to share with you. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to try to do like one every quarter of an inch just in case they don't take. And it's hard to do because they're so tiny.
And then I ordered another variety of carrots for fall planting. They're supposed to overwinter really well and be nice and sweet. So I'm curious to try all the different crops and all the different growing seasons we're gonna have now. One of the tricks to germinating carrots is not to let the seeds dry out. So you can cover them with Agribond. If you have it, you can cover them with wood. We have cardboard, so we're gonna water everything in nicely. And then we're gonna put the cardboard over it. So we'll have a good germination rate. I'm gonna put our misting nozzle on the end of our hose end. So we, we have a lighter spray. I don't wanna use that one. It gives it a kind of a heavy shower. I don't wanna wash the seeds away. And once our carrots get established, we can put our drip lines in. I'm gonna cover it with cardboard, keep all the moisture in. It's also gonna make it so they'll sprout in half the time. So instead of taking 12 to 18 days, they'll start sprouting in between five to 10 days. Olivia wants her own garden bed. So what are you planting in your garden bed? Um, tomatoes, purple green beans, and carrots and some marigolds. She's doing a different tomato variety than we've done. Which one? Celebration tomatoes. Celebration. You're a smaller tomato. They're in between a cherry tomato and an heirloom. Kinda of looks more like gray sand. All right, we wanna make sure we give your garden bed the same amount of love as we gave ours, huh? Mm-hmm. Here comes my blueberry bushes. I got your blueberry plants. Yes. Ready to open them up and get them planted? Yeah. Let's do this. Olivia thought we were gonna have more of a box. Yeah. Yeah, they should be all blue crops. Let's see how they come. So they're all wrapped up in a little diaper. So we should have 10 in here then, I guess. We'll have a link down below where they came from. If you guys are interested, not sponsored. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 10. There's more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and then twelve. So far, they, when I've talked to them, they have really good customer service. So I've been impressed. These are all blue crop variety blueberries. It's the only kind they had left. 
Can we but they're good ones. They're popular ones. We just had more of an inventory of them because they sell more. They look nice and healthy. Yep. Yesterday we went ahead and got our row prepped and ready for our blueberries. We dug our holes. We didn't fill them in and mix our soil amendments yet. We didn't know how big the plant roots were going to be. Going to add some sandy loam to each hole. Stew. Blueberries love acid. They like a pH range between 4.5 and 4.8. So we are mixing our sandy loom 60% and roughly 40% with peat moss and then we're using wood chips around it and that should help give us some good acid in our soil and really get these blueberries thriving. The first year you're planting blueberries, you don't want to have compost or composted wood chips with manure around them. You just want to have peat moss and wood chips so that way they will thrive and produce a really good plant for you. We're going to have to figure out where our holes are once we put the weed fabric down. So we make sure our plants are nice and straight when we're planting them. might be a little overkill with our putting wood chips down and then this black mulch but we used to have blackberries and brambles that would grow up over here and I'm afraid if we don't heavily try to suppress that stuff it's gonna overtake our blueberry plants over here so we just want to stay on top of it right from the beginning First plant's getting ready to go in. You ready for this? Bye. All right, if you want to hold it. So we'll put wood chips here after. I've never known a love so steady. Even gold won't turn your tide. We flow together like an ocean. Every low and every high. And I would have you any way, dear Any way your heart could bear Even if you had to leave me I'd always be waiting here Even when we are apart I will keep you in my heart And I wouldn't change a thing I 
I've never known a brighter sunset But every day I see it rise I never thought it could be better We ran out of mat, but we have more. But on this last one, we're going to leave no mat. We're going to see if we're, if we're going overboard with having the mat, wood chips, and then we're going to have more wood chips on top. So I don't like the mat. So if it works better without the mat. Right. If we don't try, if we don't experiment, we won't know. Because I am adding more. Yes, yeah, so we got to order more. Just for not this year. Next year. Oh, he's actually going that side. Okay. Need more than that? Uh, no, we'll just do one chance. chips are going to look pretty and they're going to hold in a lot of moisture for the blueberry plants and also having a berm right here we can use this as a contour berm and if we find the blueberries need more water we can always grade our road right here so the water that runs down our road will actually come over here and hit our berm and it'll water our blueberries for us We got the blueberry plants planted just in time. It just started to rain now. What a perfect day for transplanting. 
overcast weather and now it's gonna rain a little bit. Can't wait to see how well these blueberry plants grow. I have a half a package of breakfast sausage left and I just went and got some spinach from the garden and I decided that I'm just gonna make a lasagna with that. You're gonna spend the night away from your babies tonight. Don't fall out the door. Yep, good girl. No, you oh, not you're ready yet. to get milked? We gotta wait till tomorrow morning to do That's that. Tomorrow morning, Buttercup. All right, you two girls are gonna spend the night together. We'll come get you in the morning for milking. Look, all you kiddos can have a slumber party tonight. So our next video will be interesting. We're gonna be milking Buttercup for the first time. We haven't milked her yet. So we're gonna see. It's her first time going on the milking stand. She never used to enjoy her belly or her udder being touched. Ever since she's had babies, she's been better. So we don't know what we're in for. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It'll be a good one. Uh, so thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us and our homestead. What are a few things you've always wanted to plant at your place? I know we want to do an apple orchard, a blueberry patch, a raspberry patch, but for some reason, they always get away from us. So this year, we're like, we're going to do more. And that was our goal before everything started happening. And then with everything going on, it kind of made it more pressing. But when we started calling up to order all of our stuff, which we thought we were doing it early, at least for our growing season. They were like, oh, with the blueberries, we don't have any one of those in stock. We have just one variety and they had very limited. They didn't have enough for Gina to do as many as she wanted to. So we got it started this year and next year we'll make the blueberry orchard even better. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres where we're going to be milking Buttercup. It's going to be a good one.